Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to install Half-Life Opposing Force and or whichever you want, if you want to install both or either, Half-Life Blue Shift onto your Oculus Quest 1, 2 or potentially future headset devices. Really simple to do. This is on Windows. I'll have separate videos doing it for Mac and Linux. I'll have separate videos doing it for Windows, Mac, Linux on how to upgrade it to HD as well. So there'll be separate videos, so feel free to check them out. Prerequisite, you need a side, you need a Oculus. You need to have this, you know, set up for side quest. Got separate videos covering that. You will also need to have already set up Half-Life, the original one via Lambda One VR for Quest. Again, I'm gonna provide a link in the description to my Oculus Quest playlist series, which shows you how to set up side quest and videos for installing Lambda One VR. So once you've installed Lambda One VR via side quest and put the game assets, we can do blue shift and opposing force. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have opposing force and blue shift, or if you only want to play one of them, you know, either one. So let me just launch it. Uh, if we go to library and close that. So you, I'm using Steam. You could potentially use the disk version or some other way of getting hold of it. This is the easiest way. Blue Shift, make sure you've installed it. Opposing Force, make sure you've installed it. So you need to locate this. You can right click it, go to manage, browse local files. You'll open where it is. For me, it is in the D drive games steam once you have the steam folder you go to steam apps common then half-life because it's a mod it doesn't have its own folder in the common folder in steam apps so you what you want to do is copy over b shift for blue shift gearbox for opposing force onto your oculus headset so let's connect this up i'm going to launch up side quest we don't need side quest. I like to use side quest to confirm that the device has been connected because you'll give me a nice green icon. And if there's any problems, you'll let you actually let me know. So it's telling me right now it's unauthorized allowing headsets. So it's pretty simple. I'm gonna put it on, go to allow, allow access to data as well. Then sometimes the allow pop up pops up again, allow USB debugging, click allow. I don't want to enable Oculus Link at the moment, that's not what we want. There we go. And if we now, I can minimize this, don't need it. You could close it down. You don't need SideQuest just to confirm that it's connected. Go into your Quest, go to XASH. I recommend that you use the Explorer to copy it because it can take a bit of time. It's a little faster this way. So if we go over to Half-Life, what you want to do is copy over the Blue Shift folder and the Gearbox folder as well. So you want to put, obviously, just Blue Shift in the XASH, the gearbox in the XASH as well. This can take a bit of time. It took me a little while. I mean, it took a little while for you to copy over, hence why I did it before doing the video. Next thing what you need to do is open up the command line.txt. You need to edit this command. So what you want to do, this is the command that you want. Ignore the end part for now. You want to put X, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see better. So you want to put xash 3d space dash log space dash dash super sampling space 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 1.25 space dash dash msaa space 2 space dash dash cpu space 4 space dash dash gpu space 4 space dash game here is where things change so here we if we want to play blue shift, we put B shift. If we want to play opposing force, we put gear box, which corresponds to these folders right here. So I will put B shift. And you know what I will do is I will put both commands in the description. So you can just copy and paste. You don't have to type it out and make a mistake because you know, I made mistakes copying it out. It's been something simple. I've you know, capitalize something or I put a one instead of an I or an L, like I'm easily, instead of an L, put like a one, for example, like really easy, you know, it's a really easy mistake to do. I'll make sure it's an L now. And so B shift for blue shift, gearbox for opposing force. Save that. And it won't let me save it directly. So if I just save it on the desktop, 
not let me save it directly that's not a problem save it on the desktop and go to desktop copy it paste it copy and replace make sure it's updated there we go and what we're going to do now is just show you it working on the headset and I'm going to disconnect it. You'll see it go red, proof that I am no longer tethered to my device anymore. And I'm going to open up my Edge browser. The simple reason Chrome is giving me issues casting over my Oculus screen. So I'm using the Edge browser instead and Bear with me, I am going to turn our screen capture because I just need to quickly log into Oculus. Okay, so we are almost signed in now. So th this is just so I can show you the screen. This is not a requirement for you. And if I go back, screen capture, there we go. And now let me put the headset on. Controller. Cast computer next. Okay. Good be sure it is connected. So okay, so you can see what I'm seeing now. So if you go to apps, and by default you'll probably see something along these lines. Go to unknown sources, Lambda One VR, open this up, and we are in the blue shift interface now so you know feel free to if you want to go to some different configuration you know feel free to mess around with stuff in here let me go back click new game click medium half-life blue shift so this is using this is using non HD textures so there we are blue shift working and that's it that's literally all there is to it we have all of our you know we can look around we can we can change the interface so it's a fixed screen we can jump and let me quit out of this there we go so if you had set that command at the end to gearbox instead of b shift again both commands will be in the description then you would just simply launch them launch up into opposing force as of now i do not know of a way to switch between like the half-life installation the blue shift or the opposing force installation from the headset without having to change that command so it's a bit annoying if you want to switch between three different games i'll try and figure out a way and i'll create a separate video of that of that like i said i will create a video of how to upgrade this to hd and a video of how to install it and hd for mac and linux so if you're on those platforms stay tuned those videos will be available soon and i look forward to seeing you in the next video